tap in. And this is the big piece that differentiates us. Like uh, if I go to fundrise.com and I buy a, a bunch of different properties, I can't even pick the properties. This is a problem. I gotta give my social security number to these guys. I gotta give all this kind of personal information to them they could use to steal my identity. I don't know who these guys are. Sure, they have $40 million in funding. The blockchain, there's no central authority who controls all the data. Additionally, your ownership on our platform is your ownership. Hi, I'm David. Uh, I come from Belgium. Uh, I came to Korea three years ago and to work uh, on my master's degree in engineering. And since a year, I've been working uh, for Proof. Uh, my title in the company is CIO, and I hold a kind of lots of different responsibilities, but like most of my time I work uh, on things like uh, web development. Hi, my name is Mike DeShazer and I'm the CEO of Proof and we are changing the way the world works through the democratization of capital. Basically what we're doing is we are bringing property ownership opportunities to people of lower, medium and high incomes. I'm Ty Kirsten, I'm the CTO of Proof Incorporated, uh, but my responsibilities extend far past that, including business development. And uh, I think the main goal here uh, for me is to be a part of something that's going to fundamentally change the way that people interact with each other on an economic level. Good morning, I'm Jason. I'm the VP of Consumer Acquisitions at Proof. I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, and Korea is the third country that I've lived in. Our solution at Proof is a website that allows people to purchase small pieces of property for as little as two dollars. Blockchain is a buzzword. <laughs> blockchain <laughs> there there blockchain there is, there is two things. It, it, it's a buzzword and it's a misnomer. Because the part of blockchain that's important has nothing to do with the blocks of the chain. That's a storage mechanism. The coolest part about blockchain is how it works to combine all these different technologies, all these different methodologies, to allow people for the first time to actually have a way to interact with each other in such a way that they don't have to trust each other. But if you add trust in, you can create a blockchain that allows people to move actual things they value, their data, their identities, their money, any of it. They can move it across the internet. They can move it across any network, actually. And that's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> so Bitcoin is not the same as, uh, as, as blockchain. So blockchain is actually like the underlying technology of Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is like, you would say like a protocol like built on, uh, on the blockchain. Blockchain is simply like the fact of storing the value uh, in, in some kind of like technologies. In the same way that like when you go to Facebook, like you see Facebook, but like you don't have like you don't see all the technology that is underlying. Uh, Why would a tech company be in Seoul? Well, let's start with maybe the fact that it has the fastest internet in the world. There's a lot of innovation happening. There's a lot of investment in the technology here. It's a city, Seoul, and the country, Korea, that is moving fast. Korea uh, was the second poorest country in the world like 60 years ago, and today it is number 11. We met through common interest, and that interest was technology. Um, we were part of the Bitcoin community, we were part of the Ethereum community, we were part of the cryptocurrency community, and we started talking and we started hanging out socially and realized, hey, we can work together. And so I worked with Mike on a real estate application for a bit and actually still there. Um, and then we started realizing the, the thing that we were interested in together is what we could work on together. And then David also being another member of that community, we realized David is a amazing coder. So we should bring him on and uh, we started working on this thing together. It's a good time. Here's how we created Proof. We were doing a bunch of research reports and then David was such a great programmer that I knew that he could lay the foundation for the application because after doing all this research, I was like, I think I know we need like a, a we called it asset book. We're like, yeah. we, need, <laughs> we need, we need like, we need a book for assets, like a social network for like everyday assets. And I was like, hey David, uh, can you spend like a week working on this? And he was like, no, I'm like working on all this other stuff. I was like, I'll give you 600 bucks to just please. He's like, all right, fine, I'll do it. And then he ended up doing it and that laid the foundation for what we have now. The plans for Proof in the future, um, like getting more users, um, getting uh, more features as well. Like uh, right now, like the whole system is working, but not necessarily like the most intuitive thing um, that you could like see. Um, so we're, we're 
trying to get more users and that comes with like uh, like adding things like for example uh, like Facebook logins, like LinkedIn logins, so that like users can like join in as quickly as possible. Um, uh, improving the help sections, things like this, and yeah, like lots of tons of different features, uh, features that we're gonna like add in like over time. Uh, but I, I would say like the the biggest thing that we're gonna do is yeah, get more people involved, like get traction. Which What's challenging for me is my wife freaking out every like weekend when I have to freak out about the fact that like some small thing is broken and that we have to like fix it immediately. And I have to like text everyone in our group and just be like, hey guys, something's broken and we gotta fix it immediately or else the world will end.